since the first Jester Kit video uh, just a few days ago, it's actually uh, gone through a ton of changes and it is a lot more flexible now. So uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of the new things that uh, that popped in there since, uh, since you last saw it. So uh, I'm gonna open up the demo scene here. And uh, one of the things that we added here was uh, something we needed for a game we're working on. And uh, basically um, during gameplay, uh, gesture recognizer when you put it in your when you add it to the gesture kit it'll uh, by default include the entire screen when it's looking for touches so um, that's all good and well but sometimes uh, I mean pretty much always you're gonna have at least a pause button and probably some other buttons so what we did is we added uh, a Z index system so that you can have your gesture recognizers, which are like your swipes and things you want to be full screen and then you can uh, you can actually have something on a higher Z index above it, that if that is touched, the touch won't go through to the one behind it. So this lets you have, uh, you know, for instance, uh, you're, you have a swipe detector on the entire screen, then maybe a pause button up in the corner. If somebody touches the pause button, it's no longer gonna detect it in the swipe detector. The gesture kit will automatically make sure that that touch doesn't get through. And uh, we also tossed in here uh, a neat visualization system for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and just add a tap recognizer. And when this happens when you're in the editor now, um, it'll actually just display this, uh, this square showing you where the tap recognizer is actually recognizing. And uh, that, that only happens when you're actually telling it that you have a specific rec you wanna look in. So you can see uh, in this particular one, we set the boundary frame here and we set it to 50, 50, and 400 by 400. So that's what this is displaying here. So if we click out here, it's not gonna do anything, but if we click in here, it will. Okay, so I'm gonna add a button recognizer, and this is a new one. The button recognizer is basically a way to decouple all of your input handling from your actual display. So the button handler is designed to work with it any of the sprite frameworks out there, including your own custom frameworks. It has a, a couple neat little events. So uh, basically it'll kick off three events. So you have uh, on selected, which is uh, you know, at this, when you get this event, what you wanna do is just uh, change to your highlighted image. On deselected, when this fires, you wanna switch back to your regular image. And on touch up inside will fire when an actual touch completes on the actual button. And there's uh, there's two ways to use it. So uh, the first way is just to um, to use the events. So you would just add a button recognizer and just listen to the events. And that's what we have going on here in, uh, in this little spot of the demo. So we add a button recognizer, we give it a rect, and uh, then we set its Z index to one. So that's gonna put it above all the other recognizers. And we have an on selected event, on deselected, and on touch up inside. So we add all the events. And that's one way to use it. Uh, the other way is uh, if you wanted to, you can uh, make a subclass of this and it'll actually uh, have these different methods on selected, on deselected, and on touch up inside. And you can just override them and have all of your touch handling right in your own subclass. So it's totally flexible. It'll work any way you want. All right, so going back over here, you can see we have this. Uh, our, our taps still function if we are tapping here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the button here. So you can see we have the button recognizer selected event fired, but the tap recognizer did not. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and show that when the mouse moves off of this, you'll see that it goes to deselected. And then when it comes back on, it'll go to selected. And only when you release on the actual button will you get the touch up inside. And uh, this is following uh, kind of the Apple way to, to handle buttons. Whenever a button is touched, it expands the area that, that'll that listen to touch so that somebody's finger can slide around a little bit and still keep the button active. And if you release over here, you'll notice that we don't get the touch up inside. And then uh, the tap detector will still work in all these places. So you can, uh, it's a totally configurable. You can set how, how big this expands like uh, how many points you want it to expand and uh, the, the new rect system. So you know, if you saw in the demo here, we're, um, we're using uh, GK rect now instead of 
the Unity Rect. And uh, the reason for that's simple. It's just uh, wanted this to be able to just just work when we switch to Retina devices. So it'll uh, Gesture Kit now has a Retina multiplier in here. So uh, anytime you create a, a Rect or you um, you know do anything with uh, with Rex in here, it's gonna multiply. Uh, by this retina multiplier and it'll automatically be set up for uh, your non-retina and retina devices and uh, of course that's configurable you can leave um, auto update recs for retina you can set that to false if you don't want to uh, another thing we added here is debug draw boundary frames which you are seeing so in addition to the boundary frames uh, I'm just going to remove all these recognizers we uh, also added a multi-touch simulator so uh, it works just like the, the Apple iPhone simulator. When you press the Alt key, you get uh, two touches. So, and this will actually display green when your mouse is down, indicating that the touches are down, and red when, uh, when it's not active. So uh, let's just add a pinch recognizer here. So on this box here, you can see we can actually test this right in here. And if we stick a pinch and a rotation, we can do both of them. And you can see now you can test all of your, your multi-touch right in the editor. All right, that's it for the additions.